friends, my name is Meredith from Story Adventures with Meredith. And today we are going to do a story that's a little bit different. We are going to do something that is nonfiction. So that means that we are learning from facts. Normally when we read, we read a lot of fiction books, which is learning from our imagination. Sometimes we read books that are realistic fiction, so they seem like they could be a real true story, not just magical things happening. But this book today, Water, Land, this book is nonfiction, so there are only facts in this book. And it isn't even really a story. It's just a book up with facts about water and land. And this book is written and illustrated by Christy Hale, and another interesting thing about this book, when I read this one, I start at the end and then I go to the beginning. So we're gonna start at the end of this book and we're gonna learn some facts about water and land. So these are all water forms up here. So this is a lake right here. So a lake is a body of water, that's the blue, and it's surrounded by land, that's the yellow. So that is a lake, body of water surrounded by land. Then we have a bay. A bay is a body of water almost surrounded by land. It is usually smaller than a gulf. So we've got a bay, which this is land here, and then this is the bay. So it's not completely surrounded like the lake, just almost. A strait is a narrow body of water. So that's this right here in between these two pieces of land. We've got a strait and it connects two larger bodies of water. So on this side, there might be an ocean and on this side, there might be a different ocean and the strait is connecting them. This is a system of lakes. So we've got one, two, three different lakes all together. A system of lakes can be more than three lakes, but in this picture we've got three. Three lakes that are all near one another. And they they're all each one is surrounded by land. And then we have a gulf. So a gulf is a body of water almost surrounded by land. And it's it is usually bigger than the bay. So we already heard about the gulf here. So it's similar to a bay but bigger. Now we have landforms. An island is a piece of land surrounded by water. So an island, if you look, it's opposite from the lake. The lake is water surrounded by land. The island is land surrounded by water. Then we have a cape, which is a piece of land that extends into the water, but it's smaller than a peninsula and it's not an island because all of the land isn't surrounded by water, just this piece is. Then we have an isthmus, which is a narrow strip of land connecting two larger pieces of land. The opposite of a strait, because the strait is a narrow strip of water connecting two larger bodies of water. The isthmus is a narrow piece of land connecting two larger pieces of land. Then we have the archipelago, which is a group of islands near one another. So the opposite of the system of lakes, we have a system of islands here, and each island completely surrounded by water. Then we have a peninsula, which we heard about with the Cape. The peninsula is a piece of land almost surrounded by water, and it's usually larger than a Cape. So these are some different land forms and different water forms. So we've got both. And you can see how they're sort of mirroring each other. We have land forms that mirror their water forms. And by mirror, it means they're the opposite. They're reflecting each other in that way. They're sort of, they're same, same, but different. They're the same, but different things. So a lake and an island, they look the same in this picture, but it's the opposite. So we have land surrounding water and water surrounding land. 
So those are some of the different terms you're gonna see in this book. And if you have access to this book, you can also see it has a giant map in it that can show you all the different capes and systems of lakes and peninsulas and bays and all these things around the world. But we are just gonna look at these pictures one more time. Well, we actually haven't seen these pictures yet. We're gonna hear these terms one more time and look at a picture of each one. So you might be able to guess, this is a lake, lake. And it is a body of water surrounded by land. Island, land, surrounded by water, island. Bay, water, almost surrounded by land, bay. Cape land almost surrounded by water, cape. Straight, so we have waterway that's connecting larger bodies of water, and that's a straight. Isthmus which is land connecting two larger um, pieces of land. Systems of lakes. So we have lakes that are all really close to each other and each lake is surrounded by land. Archipelago, which are islands all near each other and surrounded by water. Each island is surrounded by water, but they're all close to each other. That's archipelago. Gulf. So gulf is water that is almost all surrounded by land, gulf. Peninsula. Peninsula is land almost all surrounded by water. Peninsula. And those are all of our water and land formations in this book, Water, Land. If you want to learn more about these different water and land forms, you can check out this book from your local library, or you can find more books about specific water and land forms. You can find books that are about different capes or peninsulas in the world, different lakes, and you can learn how they're formed. So I hope you enjoyed hearing more about water and land today with me. And I can't wait for our next story adventure. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Story Adventures with Meredith. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.